so you guys are familiar with cables like ethernet cable or fiber optic cable utp stp let's discuss about cables now in terms of cables here we will discuss about ethernet cable and fiber optic cable these cables will be used in real time network coaxial cable is also there but uh, it will be used in television industry okay when we connect our uh, you can say dish antenna with amplifier with the setup box then we use that uh, coaxial cable okay the pointed one i will show you that now if i talk about ethernet cables ethernet cables are twisted pair cables okay these are twisted pair cables and twisted ca pair cables has a pair of wires with each pair twisted to eliminate electromagnetic interference okay and to prevent cross talk like electromagnetic interference can be created when the data is being forwarded it can be uh, created outside the cable also it can happen outside the cable also okay it can perform or you can say it can uh, introduce data loss in the transit okay that's why we need to prevent that so in case of ethernet cabling we use twisted pair cable okay twisted pair now why they are twisted because we need to prevent external or internal electromagnetic interference and crosstalk cables it has a pair of wires twisted with each other to prevent emi or to eliminate emi and crosstalk it is called electromagnetic interference okay so each each pair forms a circuit which can transmit the data okay at each end of the cable we use a connector called rj45 right we use a connector called rj45 so when you are going to connect or when you are going to create the cable actually you have to use an ethernet cable and you have to use rj45 connector this connector is a eight pin connector see in the cable we have eight wires so we need eight pins to connect that particular cable in any port in any interface so here we use a eight pin connector okay that eight pin connector will be called as rj45 so here you can say that here each pair creates a circuit or creates a circuit to transmit the data at each end of the cable rj45 connector used to connect computers with the ethernet lan with ethernet lan okay now we have two types of these twisted pair two types of twisted pair okay utp and stp utp and stp utp is called unshielded twisted pair stp is called shielded twisted pair now unshielded twisted pair is the most common type of cable which will be used in lan okay for ethernet cabling you will see mostly you will find in lan segments you will use utp cables okay unshielded twisted pair now in utp we have different subcategory different types of cable okay we will discuss about them and the most most commonly used is cat6 nowadays we have different categories okay so we use cat6 nowadays okay cat6 e can be used so let's discuss about utp most commonly used cable type in ethernet lans because it is very cost effective and thin you can say these cables are very thin flexible easy to install and cost effective okay so these are the most preferred choice for any ethernet cabling okay here and cost effective so here we have two standards okay 
EIA and TIA standard for UDP cable. Like uh, there are different categories of wires, okay? And these standards will define the color coding because I told you we have eight wires. In eight wires, we have eight different colors, okay? And according to the cable type, you need to match the colors while we create the cable. I will tell you the color coding, okay? And I will tell you how to create the cable. If you want to create it, you can create it with your own, okay? But you need some tools. <laughs> this is the thing. So here, if I talk about UTP cables, here we have two standards. First of all, EIA and TIA. These standards will define color coding of your cables. Okay, Electronic Industry Association and Telecommunication Industry Association and Telecommunication. Okay, these are the standards of UTP and uh, defined various categories of wires. Okay, these are the standards of UTP cables. And define various categories of Ethernet cables. Different categories are defined. Okay. Like we have cat one to cat six. Okay. Cat one to cat six. Cat one is not used nowadays. Okay. You will not find it in real time network. Okay. Cat 5, Cat 6, Cat uh, 7 is also there, but it is not, you can say, that much in use. Okay. Class 7. Class 7 is also there, but uh, we don't use it that much nowadays. Now, if I talk about different categories, then we, we, we can start with Cat 1. Then we have Cat 2, Cat 3, Cat 4, Cat Five. Then we have cat five e. Okay. Then we have cat six. In six we have six a as well. Okay. Cat six and six a. But you can you can understand it with cat six only. You don't need to go much in that much of depth for cabling. Okay. And then cat seven. These are the cable types. Cat one was providing one Mbps speed, and it was used for voice not for data transmission okay cat 4 4 sorry cat 2 4 mbps it was for telephone means voice then cat 3 it was 16 mbps it was providing maximum speed of 16 mbps and it was 10 base t ethernet standard 10 base t Ethernet standard. Okay. Then we have CAT4. It was used in token ring technology. Token ring. It was providing 20 Mbps. It was used in token ring. After that, CAT5. It was providing 100 Mbps. Means fast Ethernet. See, if you have Ethernet cable, fast Ethernet cable, gigabit Ethernet cable, then it will be 10 Mbps, right? speed fast ethernet 100 mbps and gigabit ethernet 1000 mbps right it will be the speed for these different type of cables ethernet fast ethernet or gigabit ethernet according to your physical interface you are going to use the cable if there is any fast ethernet interface it will support 10 and 100 both it is like this if there is any gigabit ethernet it will support cable for 10 mbps 100 mbps and 1000 mbps and in nowadays you will find 10 gig ports also 40 gig right right so these, fast these ports are also available. is now no more right yeah, yeah they are you will not find them you will find them rarely on layer 2 switches maybe there are some fast ethernet ports available okay or Yes, or if you have any first generation firewall, let's say you are getting any older firewall some in some network, then you can find Ethernet interfaces also. Right, right. Uh, yeah, we do have like 5505, that is the old Yes, one. yes. <laughs> you will find Ethernet ports there if it is first generation. In the second generation or next generation firewalls, they will have gigabit Ethernet ports. 
okay so cat 5 cable will provide you 500 mbps speed sorry 100 mbps speed not 500 okay and it is called 100 base t sorry uh, it is my pen this one 100 base t the standard for ethernet okay then cat 5e it can provide you 100 mbps and 1000 mbps means it can be used for gigabit ethernet ports also okay it can be used for gigabit ethernet port so you can consider it as your 1000 sorry 100 base t not 1000 base t 100 base t or for gigabit ethernet 100 base t means fast ethernet okay and if it is used for gigabit then you can use like this gigabit ethernet okay it can be used for gigabit ethernet and fast ethernet both cat 6 cat 6 will be providing you up to 10000 mb means 10 gig okay 10 gig and it is gigabit ethernet standard okay gigabit ethernet standard so mostly you will find cat 6 it will provide you 1000 and 10 gig both okay mps like this because the difference between cat 5 and cat 6 why they are like this see this cat 5e from here you will get this fast ethernet support okay it is you can say enhanced cat 5 or you can say this one cat 5e if i talk about this cat 5e it will provide you gigabit ethernet right so it is the enhanced version of cat 5 cable only okay cat 5 cabling and it helps to prevent cross talk better than cat 5 if i talk about cat 5 e cable it is used cat 5 you will not find this okay mostly you will find cat 6 nowadays cat 5 e will be rarely available okay okay but cat 5 e is the enhanced version of cat 5 cabling and it works for 1000 mbps and 1000 mbps on the other end, CAT6, it is like CAT5E, but with larger gauze wires, okay? Its, it's wires are a, a little bit larger than CAT5E cable. So it works, uh, you can say it provides better performance than CAT5E, but it will also provide you up to 10 gig interface speed, okay? And class 7, it is also called class F. It is a new type of cabling and it is not used that much nowadays. Okay. It supports up to six, 600 megahertz. Okay. Data transmission. And it is a relatively a new type of cabling and it is a shielded. Okay. Class seven is fully shielded. Now, what is the meaning of shielded and unshielded? See, in the shielded cable, all the twisted pairs will be shielded with some metallic foil or protective material. Okay. But in unshielded, there will be nothing. There will be eight wires, or you can say pairs, twisted pairs of wires, and there will be a plastic coating. That's it. Okay. But if I talk about shielded, like STP, right now I'm telling you UTP, right? Unshielded. It means there will be no protective material, there will be no metallic foil shielding around the twisted pair. But if I talk about STP cables, shielded twisted pairs, then you will find a metallic coating or metallic foil okay which will be uh, used to shield all the pairs of wires that's why it is called shielded so class 7 it is fully shielded it is fully shielded also called class f it is a new type of cabling that is not used much but it supports up to 600 mh set or megahertz so these are the different categories in network you will find cat 6 nowadays okay cat 5 was used in 2014 15 16 right you will find cat 6 nowadays and these ethernet cables can be spread it up to 100 meters because if i talk about the different network types i think you are aware about them like lan wan man can right and wlan okay so lan is called local area network when the devices are connected within a same geographical locations 
within the same geographical location, then it is called LAN, right? All the devices will be connected with the help of Ethernet cables, and this uh, Ethernet cable can be spread up to 100 meters only. When is called wide area network, when the devices are connected in different geographical location, and we want to create connectivity between them, then we connect. When then we implement wide area network. Then we have man metropolitan area network. Okay. Man will be used to develop a network within a city. When we have multiple branches, multiple buildings within a city, and we want to maintain connectivity, we want to create connectivity between them, then we can use or we can implement MAN metropolitan area network. Its range is up to, you can say, within 50 kilometers. And CAN is called campus area network. When we we connect multiple lands together, then they form a campus area network, right? In a campus area network, we have multiple segments of the network, right? Like if I talk about a university network, then you will find a network for academic building, a network for library, right? A network for your uh, HODs or you can say staff teachers, right? A network for junior hostel, senior hostel, a network for staff quarters, different segments will be created. So that that particular that all the segments when we take them together is called campus area network. Okay. And wireless LAN means wireless local area network. When you want to provide Wi-Fi connectivity within a local area network, within a LAN, then we can use, we can implement wireless LAN. Now, Ethernet cables can be used in LAN, right? They can be used in CAN also, campus area network, but they can be spread it up to 100 meters only. Okay. Any doubt? They can be spread up to 100 meters only. So this was UTP cable, right? Now we talk about the types of cables which can be the types of cables which which can be used actually to connect the network devices. Then here we have, or you can say these these cables are divided into three parts or three types like. We have three types of cables when it comes to the connectivity. So these categories were defining speed and uh, the type of interfaces which will be used to connect the cable. But if I talk about these three types of cable, it will define that how you will connect the network devices, right? We have straight through cable. Then we have cross over cable. After that, we have rolled over cable. Okay. Now, a straight through cable, it is used to connect uh, when, uh, how we use a straight through cable. It is used to connect same type of device, devices or different type of devices. Okay, like switch to router, switch to PC, etc. Different type of devices. Crossover cable, it is used to connect same type of devices like PC to PC switch to switch router to router or uh, router to pc router and pc both are same type of devices comparatively okay if you see the components of a router they are very similar to the components of a pc like a router if i talk about hardware components then a router will have cpu ram Right, flash to store the files, configuration files and operating system files. Other than this, it will have NVRAM, right? It will have a bootstrap program. It will have a Roman mode. It will have CPU fan. All these things will be there in a router. It will have Ethernet interfaces, USB interfaces, right? It will give you the CLI to configure the router, to manage the router. If I talk about a PC, to manage a PC, to configure a PC, we use GUI. It is also having CPU, RAM, everything, right? And the hard disk to store the data. So they are they are same type of devices. They can be considered as same type of devices according to the device type. But router will perform routing and the PC will not perform routing, right? PC will be used to generate the traffic. So you can say that as per the behavior of the device, they are same type of devices. So we use cross cable to connect them. But nowadays we have auto MDIX feature, okay? Nowadays in devices, we have auto MDIX feature, then we don't need to worry about 
these cable types. Okay, so it if I talk about that auto MDX feature, it will enable device to automatically configure an interface to use a straight cable or cross cable. Okay, so you don't need to worry about that. Like uh, which cable you are going to use to connect the devices. So that MDX uh, should be enabled on the switch port and uh, uh, any any type of cable can be used. Yes, yes, yes. It can it can use any cable like a straight or cable. You don't need to take uh, you don't need to worry about that. Now, rolled over cable it is used to take console access of any network device using console port okay console port so it is a different cable than your ethernet cables okay we don't transmit data with the help of rolled over cable okay we take console access of network devices like uh, in every router switch firewall we have a console port to provide local management right we have a console port to provide local management so we have to use a different type of cable. I will tell you about this also. Okay. Now, if I talk about color coding of these cables, how these cables will look like. Let me show you one one time on the, on the internet some pictures. Okay, some pictures of these cables, like Ethernet cables. See here, you can see this is Cat 5E cable, right? And this is Cat 6. Okay, this is Cat 6A. And uh, this one is CAT7, fully shielded. Okay. These are pairs of wire. Here you can see these are different colors in the pair. And when you are going to create the cable or when you will create the cable, then you need to take care about these, co uh, these colors. Okay. Because you need to, you can say, you need to punch these wires into a connector. So you have to take care about the you can say pins so that you can you can punch it correctly otherwise cable will not work okay. and we have a tester after that when you will create the cable you need a crimping tool and a tester and ethernet cable with the help of crimping tool you will cut the cable you will you can say create the cable and after that to punch that connector with the cable you have to use crimping tool now if i talk about the color coding how color coding will be used to create a straight cable for example or here i will tell you about cross cable now let's say this is your cable okay here we have these rj45 connector both sides we have eight pins okay now first pin will be orange white orange Second will be orange, sorry, first will be orange, second will, first will be orange, white, second will be orange. Then green, white, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. Orange, white, orange. This side, it will remain same, okay? Green, white, blue. Blue, white, green. And brown, white. brown okay this for this cross cable let's say this is your cable and on both ends you will connect rj45 connector now in this connector you have to take color coding like this on one side it will remain same orange white orange green white blue blue white green brown white brown now you have to change one three two six you have to replace these colors otherwise you have to remember on the other side also but why to remember all these things right you can use this formula here you just need to remember this one side color coding and other side color coding will be driven automatically okay so one will be replaced with three so it will start with green white right Two will be replaced with six, then green. Three will be replaced with one, orange, white. Four will remain same. Blue, blue, white, 
2 will be sorry 6 will be replaced with 2 orange and brown white brown white. so green white green orange white blue blue white orange brown white brown it is like this for cross cable means one side of cross cable will be having this color coding okay on the other side you have to take this color coding then it will be working both sides will be crimped or will be punched with this rj45 connector eight pins will be inserted into eight wires will be inserted into eight pins of the connector now if i talk about rolled over cable rolled over cable is console cable right so here we use a different type of cable it is a ethernet but uh, we don't use it for data transmission let's say this is your cable one side will be rj45 it will be connected to your network device and uh, this side will be serial oh, connector serial interface right yes serial it is called db9 okay db9 it will be connected with your pc com port so here it will be orange white orange here it is 1 to 8 and 8 to 1 like it is like this orange white orange green white blue you need to remember only this color coding okay blue white green brown white brown and all other can be here can be defined automatically brown white brown brown then here it will be brown white then green white then green then blue white then blue okay i am then wrong i think it will be green then blue white then blue after this green white then orange and orange right just opposite this is called rolled over cable nowadays in in your laptops you will not find this com port okay so yeah. what we do we use db9 to usb so these cables will be used to connect the devices this straight cable and cross cable we use them in lan okay so that we can connect our internal users and you can spread ethernet cables up to 100 meters now let's talk about fiber optic cable okay fiber optic cables will be used in wan connection you can say to cover a larger distance and to provide high speed connections okay so let's discuss about fiber optic these cables are used to cover a longer distance you can cover up to 80 kilometers up to you can say 100 kilometers you can say okay longer distance and and to provide high speed data transmission these cables are made up of glass fiber okay these cables glass fiber these cables are made up of and plastic fiber surrounded by several layers of protective material several layers of protective material these cables are much more expensive these cables are much more expensive and you can say and hard to manage also right these cables will be grounded okay you will not uh, take them over the air and uh, these cables supports very high bandwidth okay so these cables are most preferred choice for the wan networks okay where high speed data transmission or high speed connectivity is required if i talk about these fiber optic cables we have two types of cable the cable will be something like this in fiber optic cable the traffic will be sent in the form of light right so here we have a core in fiber optic cable we have a core then 
this core will be surrounded by the cladding okay cladding and then we have coating coating is the protective material which will secure the cable from outside electromagnetic interference plus the damage or physical damage right this is called coating this is called cladding and this one is core from this core a light ray will be generated to transmit the data okay now we have two types of cable first of all we have single mode fiber optic cable and multi mode single mode fiber optic cable has a single stand of glass fiber with a smaller core and it supports only one transmission one mode of transmission it has only one propagation path for the data means a single light beam will be generated to transmit the data single mode okay if i talk that's why it can run a longer distance okay let's uh, take an example of laser light do you know laser light when we were kids we were using that laser lights and we were pointing that laser lights to a longer distance right so when you will when you will use that laser light your point will will be you can say it will be visible at a longer distance also and on the other end if you use a torch right if you use a torch in torch the light will be spread it right because in torch it will get multiple propagation path you can say and in laser you will get only one propagation path so laser light can cover longer distance on the other end torch light cannot cover that much of longer distance right so here same thing will happen in single mode fiber optic cable and multi mode fiber optic cable in single mode fiber optic cable only one ray of light beam will be generated only one ray okay to transmit the data so that one ray will be very dense you can say so that it will cover a longer distance right and if i talk about multi mode fiber optic cable its core is bigger than single mode fiber optic cable so it will be able to generate multiple light beams multiple rays of light beams to transmit the data and with the help of reflection of cladding that data will be transmitted further but now you are sending the data using torch you can say so it will not be able to cover longer distance right it will provide high speed data transmission in multi mode fiber optic also but it will not able to cover that much longer distance like single mode fiber optic cable so single mode fiber optic cable has a single stand of glass okay and with a smaller core you can say it supports only one propagation path for data so it covers or it can cover a longer distance and can provide high speed data transmission this is single mode fiber optic cable now if i talk about multi mode fiber optic cable then multi mode fiber optic cable it has bigger core multi mode fiber optic cable bigger core and supports multiple propagation path it can cover a small to medium distance see the single mode fiber optic cables can cover up to 80 to 100 kilometers okay single mode fiber optic cables can cover up to 80 to 100 kilometers and multi mode fiber optic cable will be able to cover up to 2 kilometers you can say you can use it to cover 6 uh, you, you can use it cover you get to cover 500 meters within 400 meters within 100 meters up to 2 kilometers okay and single mode can be spreaded up to 80 kilometers overall when you will uh, use multi mode fiber for example when you will use multi mode fiber optic cable and you are spreading it up to 2 kilometers it will provide you only 200 mbps speed 
it means if you are increasing the distance your speed will be decreased okay if i talk about single mode fiber optic cable yeah okay so if i talk about single mode fiber optic cable you can spread it up to 10 kilometers if you are using up to 10 kilometers it will provide you 10 gbps speed okay so single mode fiber optic cable will cover a longer distance and it will also provide you higher speed okay on the other end multi mode fiber optic cables they will not be able to cover that much longer distance and they will not be able to provide you that much high speed also they can be used in small to uh, medium networks medium enterprise or uh, medium networks medium distance otherwise we, we have to use single mode fiber optic cable okay okay so these are the cables uh, if you want to see the graphical representation here in a website it is to find how the beams will be generated okay in graphical format i think i have seen that once the outer end this black end right this is called coating and this is your cladding the mid 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 uh, you can say middle one and this is core okay you can see glass core glass cladding and polymetric coating right so this is how your fiber optic cable will be created okay and here if they have defined anything else now there was a website in that they were showing the data transmission it was something like this if i talk about the single mode cable then this is your cable let me define let me create this okay this is coating within this coating we have a cladding this is a cladding okay this is core this one is core and this cable is going on now when this is you can consider it as single mode okay when it is single mode its core will be very small okay its score will be very small and it will generate a single light beam to transmit the data like this so it will be able to cover longer distance right on the other end if i talk about multi-mode fiber optic cable then it will be same but its score will be bigger now this core will generate multiple light beams like this and with the reflection of cladding this light beam will be transmitted throughout the cladding like this so here it will have multiple propagation path okay but it cannot cover a longer distance you know that if light is being spread then its density will be decreased right and uh, it will not be able to cover a longer distance it will be broader but not longer so here also when you are sending the data it will generate multiple beams in multi uh, multi mode fiber optic cable and if you are using single mode then single beam of light will be generated it like this now if i talk about the connector then we have connectors to use these cables mostly you will find yellow cables and white cables okay 